Yo, what is up my kings and queens? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going over the Ancient Fear, also known as Fiddlesticks. If you're a Fiddlesticks main, or you are somebody who is just picking up the champion and looking to learn about him, this will be the perfect guide for you. We're going through items, we're going through runes, his best jungle clear, we're going through some tips and tricks, and we're even going to throw in some combos in there so you guys can maximize your DPS. But without further ado guys, let's get right on into that video all right so now to move on to the items section of this guide and just a quick disclaimer before i get into this guys fiddlesticks is one of those champions that can run so many different mythic items you can go ludens tempest you can go lanshi's anguish you can go everfrost but i'm just going to be going over what i believe to be the strongest and what i see being run the most consistently at the highest level of gameplay and that is indeed the hextech rocket belt mythic option okay so with that out of the way let's start with the starter items here so we always want to be running Hailblade on fiddlesticks that extra movement speed slow that you get on the enemy and the gain that you get on yourself is just infinitely valuable uh, for your ultimate when you are trying to run people down and just da deal as much damage as you possibly can always getting refillable you can also switch this out for a control ward but i do recommend refillable just in case you do get invaded and dark seal is a fantastic buy on your first back you'll find that this item will sometimes have a huge payoff and it's just really worth it when it does pay off when you start stacking kills so i would highly recommend picking this up on your first back just so that you have the ability to you say get that snowball rolling now as we talked about a little bit already hextech rocket belt is in my opinion the best mythic option however fiddlesticks mains run pretty much everything under the moon as long as it gives ability power so Take this as you want. This could change in the future if Rocket Belt gets nerfed, but the magic penetration that you get from this item, the raw AP, the HP, and the ability haste, and then the active just combined together, I think, is just awesome on this champion. You can't really ask for a better item on Fiddlesticks, but with that being said, Everfrost is also pretty damn cool. I don't see it being run a lot, but I do think it's also a very awesome item on Fiddlesticks. Worth a shot. Regardless, Zhonya's Hourglass is always a very consistently strong second item on Fiddlesticks after you've completed your Mythic. I do recommend going this pretty much every single game. Just being able to alt in and then Zhonya's right after is so valuable. It makes you just do so much damage. You zone the enemy team. They're forced to run away and they lose all their health while doing so, making it much easier for your team to follow up on your play. Next up, Void Staff. This is very, very awesome if you don't need heal cut and the enemy team is itemizing any forms of magic resist. This is just awesome. It'll just make your damage so much better and it'll just shred their resistances, no problem. Now on the flip side, if they're not really building many resistances, um, then you can go with a Morello Nomicon to heal cut, get rid of their life, still get rid of any healing that they may have if they do have healing supports or anything like that. Now, say they have both, they have lots of magic resist, and they also have a shit ton of healing. Well, what do you want to do in that situation? You want to build an Oblivion Orb, so not the full Morello Nomicon, just the Oblivion Orb, into the Void Staff, and then you finish off the Morello Nomicon after the fact. And then, over, over to the next part here, guys, we have our situational items. So, all of these can be built in different circumstances. I recommend going Banshee's Veil when you're against a team that has very heavy point-and-click CC. So, think of champions like Annie, Twisted Fate, Leona... You know, champions that can very easily stun you. You want to build Banshee's Veil against those teams. Death Cap is a fantastic snowballing item. So say you have your core and you just want to have raw damage at that point. You have no problem surviving in team fights. You have no problem getting your damage off. Just make your damage stronger. Deal more damage to your opponents. Force them to just slash FF. Get that free win. Now, Majai Soul Stealer is an item you want to buy only when you have 10 stacks on your Dark Seal. So this won't happen every single game, guys, but it will happen occasionally. So make sure you're picking up Majai's when that is the case. Moving on from there, Cosmic Drive, fantastic item. Also, the reason why it's so strong is it gives you such an incredibly high amount of ability haste. 40 ability haste, 80 ability power, 200 health, all stats that Fiddlesticks really likes, not to mention the movement speed it does also grant. 
So that will be the end of the item section, guys. Let's move on to the next section. Huge shout out to Sawyer Nelson for providing me with this clip, guys. He is a fantastic YouTuber. I will put his link in the description. He does clear pathing guides for all sorts of champions. And I will give him a shout out. Make sure to check him out in the description, guys. As you can see here, we start with our W, of course. And then with this particular clear path, guys, we're wanting to start at the wolf camp. And we drag it to exactly where he was standing there. Make sure you rewatch this. And you know just see how he kites both of them in that perfect spot you have to be standing in the perfect spot and then you see after we clear out the wolves we then drag it towards the gromp here taking our e level two and doing the same thing just draining 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 and just look at that perfect timing guys it is two minutes 11 seconds when you have those cleared out that's level three already on this champion it's very awesome you then hit the blast cone Go over here, auto attack the raptors, drag it towards the red buff, use your E on the red buff, wait for it to be within your W range, and then you do the same thing, standing exactly where that tree is, as you can see here. It is drain, drain, draining it all away. Very awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and start dragging this towards our next camp, guys. And you can see here, if you stand perfectly Right here, yet again, as the red buff is losing patience, you can still attack both that and the Krugs with your W. This clear path does take a lot of practice, guys. Personally, I had to go and practice tool and try this out like three to four times before, before I had it down. So don't feel discouraged if you don't have it down right away. But you can have this done very quickly. And like I said, guys, make sure to give Sawyer Nelson on YouTube a quick subscribe or a like on his video here just to show your support. But you can see here, 3 minutes, 6 seconds, you've done a full clear of your jungle and you can move straight over to the scuttle crab. Now on to the final section of today's video, which is of course going to be the tips and tricks section. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Now, guys, you might have noticed something a little bit weird here if you're paying attention. When I walk back and forth here, see, my drain's lighting up. Why is that? Well, let's see. When I press drain, oh, there's a target in this bush. If you guys didn't know, your drain actually lights up on targets that are outside of vision. And this also applies to enemy jungle camps. As you can see, when I walk over here, oh, it lights up. What does that mean? Enemy's blue buff is indeed alive, and I had no vision of that, so I would have no way of knowing that. So this is very helpful to know if enemies are in a bush. I'm standing right here. I know an enemy is now in this bush, so I can just do that or I can run away, whatever, but very important to keep in mind, guys, just so you do know, your W will light up if there are enemies that are within your range. This also will apply to invisible targets, such as Shaco, if he's using his Q. If there was a Shaco right here, I would be able to press W on him and in indeed hit him, so I would know that he's within my line of vision. So always be keeping your eyes peeled, guys, on your W, and if you see that it lights up, well, you know there's an enemy nearby. All right, next up here, your Q does double damage if your target has already been feared recently. So, let's uh, show you how that works. Regularly, you use your Q on a target. It fears them. It does 139 damage, right? But let's just wait for this to go away. We'll do this on a separate target. We'll, we'll eat him from outside of, uh, outside of vision, right? So, he's going to be feared off that. Now, if I Q him here, 277. It crits. So... With that in mind, guys, you want to be looking to combo people and throw that in after the fact. You want to look to get an instant fear off on a target. So we're going to put a dummy right here. We're going to ult over the wall. We'll get the fear. Right? We'll just get that double damage off, right? Because if they're already feared and, and they have this little circle around them, your Q will indeed do double damage to them, guys. As you can see, it does 100. Now it does 200. Look at that. Very good to know, guys. Do keep that in mind. And fun fact, the more that you level up your Q, the longer the fear for both the active and the passive. So do keep that in mind as well. Now, another important thing to note, guys, is with Fiddlesticks is R. We're just going to put, you know, let's just say one, two, three. Uh, if you want to get an instant fear off, there's no better way to do it than with your ultimate, right? It's an instant fear. Unreactable. And you just get an insane amount of damage off with that, guys. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Your ult fear is instant cast and it's undodgeable, but you have to be outside of vision for this to work, guys. You can't not be within the enemy's line of sight for this to be a thing, so do keep that in mind as well. Now, another cute little thing that you might be able to notice, guys, 
is um, one second here. Let me just make sure I have vision of these guys. Okay, so when I'm casting my ultimate, you'll see these little crows hover around them. Uh, you might have noticed, and what that means, guys, is that I'm gonna guarantee a fear. That means that they, the enemies, 100% do not have vision of me, right? That those little, I'm gonna go into this bush here so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see here when I'm casting this, they all have crows around them, right? And that just means that essentially these dummies, well, yeah, they, they don't see me at all and I have a guaranteed fear. Now on the flip side, if I ult right in front of them and they have vision of me, you see that those crows do not show up on them and they don't get feared. So important to note that as well, guys, if you want to know if they have vision of you or not and if you want to know you're going to get a fear or not, it's really important to know this just so you know what sort of combo you're going to look to do. In a situation where they don't have vision of you like so, you want to go in and you just want to instant W to maximize your damage like so, right? But in the event that maybe, say, you start channeling your ultimate and they're like, oh shit, they have vision of me. Instead, you might just want to, like, Zhonya's or something so that, you know, you don't get instantly bursted and you just maximize your damage, right? So that was just an example. Do keep this in mind, guys, uh, and, and try to integrate this into your combos. All right, so now the last tip uh, we're going to go over here is to maximize your DPS. Uh, and that's just, you know, making sure that you press R and you use your active on your protobelt and you W right after, guys. What I see happen way too much on Fiddlesticks is people will go in like so. And they'll, like, they'll throw out their E, they'll then do that. And by the time that they start using their W, the enemies are no longer feared and they can flash out or something. And you don't get like your full channel of your W off. The reason why you want to get the full channel of your W off is it does execute damage, right? So with your ult uh, ticking and your W ticking at the same time, your damage is going to be way greater than if you like go in and use all of your abilities, right? So you want to just W right away. And you can see you basically get your full W off before they're even done being feared. And for low health targets, guys, that maybe have escaped and flashed out, you can just look to throw your E at them, right? Just throw your E and hit them in the face with that. Uh, just to secure any kills on the way out. This is a much better way to get maximum damage off assuming that you get the fear with your ultimate guys. So that is going to be the end of today's video guys. I really hope that you all learned something new and you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do not forget to drop a like and a subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me guys. So without further ado, I will see you all in the next video. I appreciate every last one of you. Peace.